Yeah. It is private property. I was so lost, lost for words. Like, you seen slaughterhouse footage before? Yeah. yeah. Seen animals drown in their own blood? Yeah, but like I still. You don't care. You think it's funny though? Yeah. I'm not laughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All dairy cows are slaughtered, that's all. <laughs> Pretty simple. <laughs> Pretty simple when you explain it like that, eh? Like, all dairy cows are slaughtered, so. Don't agree, mate? So many dairy farmers walking past, so. It's about um, whether, or not, whether or not milk is murder. Yeah, but you need calcium to make your teeth and like bones stronger. I'm saying milk is murder. That's not the, <laughs> the argument is, is milk murder? So do you, do you know anything about the dairy industry? Uh, it comes from cows. <laughs> the industry, the, the industry, um, the process? No. Okay. So what they do is they, they get a cow, they forcibly impregnate her, they put her in a rape rack or I a... I saw that. I yeah. That's quite disturbing. They put it in a, in a cattle crush so they hold her head. Vegans call it a rape rack because they basically stick their fist in the cow's anus and then inject her with bull semen to um, impregnate her. Yeah. This is actual, this, you can look this up if you want. I'm scared of cows. Okay, and then when she's pregnant they take her calf away because the calf will drink the milk, but they want to keep the milk. So the calves, if they're a boy, sometimes they kill them on their, you know, really shortly after birth, or they raise them for, for veal or beef. Um, the females will be impregnated too, and year after year they'll have their calf taken, and they'll take the milk from these animals until they stop producing as much, about four or five years, and then they slaughter those cows for beef. Is that with every animal, like goats and everything, or just cows? Uh, well, the dairy process for goats is pretty similar too. Forcible I impregnation. Goats as well. Yeah, but so um, my, my my statement here is milk is murder. So all the dairy cows are being slaughtered. That's the point. Yeah, I can, I can agree with you there. I thought you meant like murder, as in like it was a problem for like people. But like, yeah, that's not fair. We had to watch something in school about like selective breeding as well, yeah. and that wasn't very pleasant either. But I didn't know they did that. So 50% of all the beef in the UK comes from slaughtered dairy cows. What do you think about that? That's quite sad, isn't it, really? Because you get beef's quite a popular meat as well. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't actually know about that. And cheese and chocolate and dairy. Yeah. So, what do you think about the the fact that they take the calves away from the mothers? That that is sad because it's like they have lives too. Yeah. If that makes sense. I know it sounds stupid, but I mean like, what? Yeah. That's not fair. Are the cal are the calves not going to die if they don't get the right? milk well, and that as well. It's, it's more about them not drinking the milk from the mother so they want the dairy industry want to sell that milk. Yeah, I don't know, that, that puts me off milk a bit. Yeah, yeah, but a lot of people they don't know about the, the standard about practice. Yeah. No, I didn't know about that. I literally, when you see things on like country file and television it's always like they Happy have like cows. things stuck on udders and just milking them. They don't show you the slaughterhouse when no. they... No. no. Why don't they show you the slaughterhouse? Because it'll put people off buying it and they want to sell yeah. the milk. Yeah. So, do you agree with this statement? I do, yeah. Let me give you a little card, because uh, this is a little challenge you can do. It's free, okay. vegan challenge. And this here is a dairy is scary, highly recommend. Okay, nice I'll do that. To you. Thank you, and you. No worries. Good luck. Take Subscribe. care. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the promotion. <laughs> you want to have a chat? You want to have a chat, mate? Why not? <laughs> Touchy subject? Okay. You want to debate a vegan? You want, to have a chat? you want to have a debate about milk being murder? Why not? Slaughterhouses, cows, dairy cows, no? Not ringing any bells? Do you want to have a uh, chat about this, dude? Do you want to have a debate about this? Or just a t conversation? I'm just asking people to change my mind. I believe milk is murder. You want to sit down for it? We, can, we haven't had many people wanting to sit down, but it's just, it's, it's just a conversation. You probably, it's probably striking. Look, his mind's going ticking over. <laughs> yeah, let's have a chat. How you going, mate? What's your name? I'm Joey. I'm, I'm Brandon. Brandon, good to meet you, Brandon. You know there's a, actually a dairy show over there. Where UK Dairy Day. I didn't know that. Yeah, so that's why I'm here. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so the statement on the table says, milk is murder, change my mind. Do you believe that milk is murder, or you oppose that? Um, I oppose that. Yeah, um, why? Um, nobody dies for milk to be created. Really? Yeah. So I'm talking about dairy milk. Yeah. From, from a cow. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think happens to the dairy cows when they can't produce milk anymore? Oh yeah. Um, they're probably just 
um, slaughtered and turned into food. Turned into beef? Yes. Yeah. Did you know that? To be fair, I didn't know either, dude, until I started to look into this, so... And I didn't think about that until you said that, hmm. which is... It makes sense. So after about four or five carvings, maybe four or five years, um, they pr start their milk production starts to decline, so it makes more sense to, to you know, to send them off and kill them for beef. Yeah. I mean, it's... Well, if you get cows that are just bred for slaughter, for food, then it's... it's that is murder. But if you think about um, dairy cows being bred for milk and then after they've had however many years because once like normal cows for the slaughter are fully grown then it's then they're killed but with dairy cows it's like five or six years before so get dairy cows actually live longer than a uh, normal than normal beef cattle they normal beef cattle are slaughtered about 18 to 18 months to two years yeah it, it's, it's a requirement for the dairy industry to slaughter these cows so that's why i'm saying that milk is actually murder it's a requirement yeah they have to slaughter these cows Otherwise, it couldn't be profitable. It just wouldn't be sustainable. They they couldn't produce dairy at the scale that they are without slaughtering all of these cows and selling them off for beef. Oh, well, couldn't they just like take them off somewhere for breeding and? Yeah, like, they're breed breeding them. millions of these animals into existence. Where are they all gonna? You know, where are they supposed to keep them? Oh uh, yeah. yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think about that. Yeah. No, well, a lot of people didn't. You know, I I don't know whether you know this, but cows have to be pregnant to produce milk. Oh, I, yeah. I, I didn't know that, no. Yeah. I never thought about this, right? I just thought that there was a specific breed of cow that produced milk. So, so did I. Yeah. But they have to impregnate them. Over there at that dairy show, they've got these big cattle crushers. So what they do is they put the, the cow's head in this cattle crush. It keeps them still. They stick their fist in the anus to hold the cervix in place, get a pipette full of bull semen, which they've jacked off out of a bull, and they stick that bull semen into her cervix to impregnate her. Okay, and she's about one year old when they do this. Oh. Um, she's like an, basically an infant. infant. Yeah, it's, it's, I've never knew that. When she becomes pregnant, what happens to the calf? Um, oh, would that be slaughtered as well? Or would it be raised and taken into the dairy industry? So females can produce milk, males cannot. So would the males just be killed? Well, there's, they, they can either be killed shortly after birth, okay? Or matured into, into when... Least. Matured into veal or beef. Yeah, okay. that's, that's, I didn't know that. But the females will be raised and they'll be, you know, I call it rape. Do you think it's wrong to say that if cows are being impregnated against their will, do you think that's wrong to be to call that rape? No, I don't think it's wrong to call, to call it rape because it is. Because if, if that was to happen to a person, then it would be. Hmm. So I'm saying the act is rape. Yeah. The action is sexual violation. Yeah, because they're forcing the cow to be impregnated. Yeah. And I'm saying that the act of shooting a cow in the skull and slashing their throat open is murder. Yes, it is. Because wow. if, if that was to happen to anybody else in the world, then the other person would go down for years for it. Wow. So what do you think about these euphemisms, meaning words that, that sort of... different words to describe these acts, like humane slaughter and artificial insemination. What do you think those words do to someone's consciousness when it comes to this topic? Do you think they go, oh, sounds better, like... Yeah, because you, cause you don't think, if you think about artificial insemination, you think like um, IVF, where it's all completely yeah. willful, Consented. consensual. Yeah. But with cows, it's not. Yeah, they hold them down in a rack, and they're selling those racks over there. Oh. We call them, vegans call them a rape rack. Yeah, because that's what it is. Because that's what it's been used for. Yeah, I never, yeah. never thought about that before, to be fair. So basically, what I, the reason I talk to the public about this is because by virtue, by virtue of supply and demand, yeah. our money funds these industries. When we remove money from these industries and we buy, buy plant milk, we boycott the murder. Yeah. And that's when they start to go down, they stop breeding cows into existence, uh, the, the numbers decline, and these industries, they go out of business. Yeah. yeah, and it's a lot better for the cows and the livestock and everything. Dairy farmers can start making, you know, plant food products. There'll be more room for, you know, soya milks and, uh, you know, vegan alter alternatives if they... Yeah. Yeah. So, I usually finish off by saying, here's a challenge. Okay. <laughs> it's free, vegan challenge. Here's, this is Dairy is Scary. It explains all the process I just spoke to you. All of this okay. stuff can be verified too. All of the standard practice for the dairy industry is up online, put up by the industry. Yeah. You can go do a little bit of searching, see exactly how they do things, but... Okay.
Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. It's good talking to you, mate. Good talking to that you was too. actually an easy conversation. <laughs> You're like, I oppose this, but no, that's true. <laughs> yeah, because once someone just like tells you the facts of how it is, it's it kind of wakes you up a bit because it's it's not easily ex it's not promoted by the industry. It's not promoted yeah. by these people who are selling the product. Because what would happen to their industry if they told the truth about it? Uh, they they would just go completely out of business. Because yeah. if people found out what they do, they wouldn't support it. Because it's wrong. It, it, there you go. Thanks, brother. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. You too. Thank you. Oh, what do I mean by milk is murder? Yeah. Oh, all dairy cows are slaughtered for beef. That's all. It's pretty simple. Like, so 50% of the beef in the UK comes from slaughtered dairy cows. And there's a big dairy uh, thing over there, so I was just... Oh, that's, why yeah, that's why I'm doing it, yeah. Is it not true? Not, oh, dairy cows are all slaughtered, brother. I'm not going to say they're not. They're not all going in the beef chain. Sorry, brother? They aren't all going in the beef chain. Beef chain. So where do they go? So anyway, they all get slaughtered, like he said, but they just don't all go to the meat chain. Yeah. yeah. I, I drink uh, almond milk, rice milk, soy milk, oat milk, one of them. And I just, I don't, I avoid animal products because I don't, I don't like animals being slaughtered. Yeah, I'm a vegan. Yeah. I hate animals being tortured, raped, killed, slaughtered. It's, I just think it's wrong, man. It's not, and now we've got vegan options literally everywhere. In yeah, the UK, I just... There's a vegan, yeah, and I just don't think animals should drown in their own blood so I can have a burger, you know what I mean? Most people feel the same way, but they're like, convenience, they, see the, they don't see the slaughterhouse. Most people are against animal cruelty too, like... Yeah. Here's some... You just had a steak? You know, when I feel... Give me, let me give you this. When I um, first started thinking about this, I, I remember writing a Facebook status, I was like, oh, you know, if you, you can't ki uh, say you care about animals and eat meat, and then I was like, but I just ate a big steak and I'm feeling guilty, you know what I mean? So that was the first step. Oh, you've even got vegan as a tattoo. Oh. But we changed it to Megan okay. because we wanted to go undercover there. Yeah. Um, so put some text on it. Okay. It is vegan, I just said Megan. Just change it. Cheers, take it easy, mate. Take care. I don't, yeah. What, know what that dairy farm was saying, like, he goes, they all get slaughtered, but that, they don't all go to the meat chain. So what, 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 so I don't get it. I said 50% of the beef comes from slaughtered dairy cows, but I don't know. Do the, do the mothers, do, do, know that. do the do mothers, that. do the mothers pine out for their calves? The cows are used to it. Yeah, well, technically it's a circle of life, really. You know, the cows eat the grass, we eat the cows.